Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to show you 10 bodyweight exercises to help you increase your overall explosiveness. Increasing your explosiveness is gonna help you run faster, change direction quicker, and improve your overall performance. Before getting into these exercises, I would recommend a thorough warm-up. I like to begin with a five minute jog, followed by some dynamic stretching, and then finishing with some band activation. So go and get a good warm-up, and we'll get into the first exercise. The first exercise is pogo jumps. Pogo jumps are a great one to do right after your warm up. They're not too intense, but they allow you to build some rigidity in your ankle joint. Your ankle joint is really important to be powerful through each stride, which is gonna help you with your running speed. If we don't have rigidity in our ankle and our foot collapses and our heel touches the ground with each stride, we're gonna lose so much of that power. So we're gonna be on our toes, making sure we're on the balls of our feet, and we're just jumping up and down like a pogo stick. So each time we hit the ground, we're springing back up into the air. That's what we're trying to develop in our ankle joint, make it like a tightly coiled spring. The tighter the spring, the more power and explosiveness through the action. So hands on the shoulder, and all we're doing is bouncing up and down. Slight bend in the knee upon hitting the ground, just to absorb some of that force, but we're making sure our heels aren't touching the ground. We're remaining on the balls of our feet. For this exercise, I like to go through 10 repetitions, rest for about a minute, and then repeat this for three rounds. The next exercise is single leg knee drives. So we're performing a similar action to the pogo jumps, but now we're involving the hip flexor by driving the knee. The hip flexors are really important for high speed running. Driving that knee into the air and being powerful is really gonna help you maximize your top speed. So this is what the action looks like. So we drive up, as you can see, landing on the ball of my foot, the heel doesn't touch the ground, and then the opposite leg is driving 90 degrees. And then we tap the ground with that opposite foot and continue the pattern for 10 repetitions. So it's up, 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 and you can get faster and faster. Just trying to stay coordinated, making sure we synchronize those arm motions with our knee drive. So for this exercise, go for 10 on one leg, rest for a few seconds, 10 on the opposite leg, rest for a minute, and then repeat this for three rounds. So after the first couple of exercises, you should be warmed up now. So we're gonna move into something more explosive. So we're gonna start in a lunge position, kneeling on the ground. Both knees should be at 90 degrees. Then you're gonna come up onto the ball of your foot with your front leg. And then with your back leg, you're gonna drive up and then spring off, landing back on the ball of your foot, starting position. So again, we're developing rigidity in the ankle, activating the hip flexors, but now it's a lot more explosive because we're coming from a lower position, so our legs are loaded. So we drive up 90 degrees. Again, make sure that heel doesn't touch the ground, back into a lunge, and then into the next one. Again, for this one, we're gonna go for 10 repetitions on our left leg, 10 on our right, rest for a minute, and repeat for three rounds. For the next exercise, we're developing lateral explosiveness. Because in most sports, especially football, we need to be fast in multi-directions. We're never just going forwards and backwards. So for this exercise, once again, we're driving up onto the ball of our foot, driving our opposite knee, exploding into the air, and then immediately we're gonna explode from one side to the other. So you can use a line just as a frame of reference to make sure you're getting across. And then you're gonna land on the ball of the opposite foot, drive up into the air, drive the opposite knee this time, land and then explode back across. So it takes a bit of coordination, synchronizing those arm movements with the knee drive, but this is really gonna help you improve your lateral explosiveness. So for this exercise, I'd recommend five in each direction for 10 repetitions total, rest for a minute and then repeat three rounds.
For the next exercise, we're working on our lateral explosiveness once again. This time I'm using a football. I'm just using it so it forces me to jump up and across, so a little bit more dynamic. But you can use just a line on a pitch or anything you have lying around the house, a cone. We're just gonna be jumping from side to side. So it's a two-footed exercise. So we're jumping across and then we're landing. With the key with this one is to spend as little time on the ground as possible and then get back across. So we're really trying to be light on our feet, quick, agile, and explosive to get from one side to the other. Naturally, you're gonna put more weight on your outside leg because that's the one that's doing the most of the work to absorb the landing and then push off once again. So we're gonna go from side to side. For this one, I like to do 20 repetitions, so we're getting 10 on either side. Rest for a whole minute and then repeat for three rounds. The next exercise is broad jumps. So this is a two-footed exercise and we're putting maximum effort into one repetition. So we're standing shoulder width apart, we're loading up the legs, so slight bend in the knees, because we really want to develop some power, make sure we're firing on all cylinders. We're going to swing our arms, come up onto the balls of our feet, and then we're going to spring forwards, and we're actually going to land heels first. So this is going to help develop your deceleration muscles, because when you're coming to a stop, you usually come onto your heels to absorb the impact before you then change direction. So this is not only working on your explosiveness forward, but the ability to put on the brakes. So two feet together, we're gonna to swing the arms, drive forward, then we're gonna land, try to have a soft landing, absorb the impact, and then we're gonna repeat this 10 times. So just get back to your spot, repeat nine more times, rest for a minute, and then go for three rounds. The next exercise is single leg hops. So this works on your single leg explosiveness because in most sports, especially football, you're always pushing off one leg at a time. It's so very rarely you're pushing off two feet together unless you're jumping, for example. So most of the time we're driving off one individual leg. So we want to develop equal strength, equal power in each leg individually. So for this exercise, all we're doing is coming up onto the ball of our foot. We're hopping, so we're really loading up that leg, sinking into it making sure everything's firing up. Then we're gonna explode off of that leg and then we're gonna drive our knee. So the same knee is driving, land back on the same leg and we're gonna go for three hops, ensuring that we're putting maximum force and intensity into each hop. So we're gonna go three out with one leg and then three back with the opposite leg. So for this exercise, I'd recommend 10 total, rest for a minute and then repeat three rounds. For the last three exercises, you'll need some kind of platform that you can jump up and down from. I'm using this small wall, which is probably about 10 inches tall. You could use a step or a bench, but we're just working on a bit more explosiveness now. So this first one is single leg. So we're working on explosiveness in our ankle once again, really trying to tighten that spring, make it really explosive, really powerful. So we're up on the ball of our foot. We're holding for a second. And then before we jump up, we're going to tap the ground once. So it's a quick snap. This is really gonna help you develop that springiness in your ankle joint. And then we're gonna drive up onto the platform. So heel is up all the time on the ball of our foot and explode up. So for this one, we're gonna go for 10 repetitions on our right foot, 10 repetitions on our left, rest for a minute and then repeat three times. The next exercise is box jumps. So once again, you're gonna need a platform. I like to use a slightly higher one for this one, just so we're really working on that explosiveness, driving up into the air. It's a two-footed exercise, so we're gonna be lowering, loading up those legs, recruiting as many muscle fibers as we can. We're gonna swing our arms, we're gonna jump up onto the box or the platform, and the key is to make the landing as soft as you can. So you wanna fully clear the level and then land softly. You shouldn't be struggling to get up there. If you're struggling, the platform is probably too high, work your way up to it. So start low, you could even start with the 10 inch step and then work your way up to a higher level. So we're up on the balls of our foot again, working on that ankle rigidity, lowering, swing the arms, drive up, and it's a soft landing. And then we just step down and we're gonna repeat this one for 10 repetitions. Again, rest for a minute and then repeat for three rounds.
And the final exercise is depth jumps. This time we're starting on top of the platform and dropping onto the ground. I'm using the same level that was using for the box jumps. So we start on top of the platform. We're gonna drop off one leg at a time. So one leg leads, but then we're gonna land on two feet. So we drop down, and then immediately we're gonna absorb the impact. So lower your center of gravity, slight bend in the knees, loading up those legs to absorb that impact. Then immediately we're gonna spring up into the air as high as we can. So this is just adding extra resistance. That gravity, that force as we drop is really loading up the body. Then we're working against that to spring back up into the air. So this is really gonna improve your explosiveness. So for this exercise, I would recommend doing five repetitions, springing directly back up into the air, and then five repetitions springing out in front the same way we did with the broad jumps. So this time we drop down, then we spring forwards, landing on our heels to once again develop those breaks. So five repetitions springing directly upwards, five repetitions springing forwards, rest for a minute and repeat for three rounds. So there we have it, 10 exercises to help you increase your explosiveness. And if you want more exercises similar to these, you can check out the link on the screen right now. Or you can also check out Rapido, which is my very own explosive speed training program. I'll put a link to it in the description box below, which will take you over to my website where you can pick up that seven day program. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.